and welcome back to Suncoast FYI. As the 4th of July weekend approaches, preparations for the boat races on the Suncoast are underway. Soon the Gulf will be crowded with beachgoers and boaters excited to watch the Sarasota offshore boat races. Lucina Kendry of the Suncoast Charities for Children is here to give us all the details. Lucy is also the event planner for this wonderful, wonderful event that we have every year. So, Lucy. Well, thank you Welcome. for such a great introduction, Nancy. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to another great year. You know, we've got 10 days of activities going on. Most are free to the public. Um, we just want to remind people that Suncoast Charities for Children produces the festival, so any net proceeds go back to the charity and stay here locally. Um, okay. But there's plenty of activities for everybody to enjoy. Okay. So I, most people have known you've been doing this how many years now? How many I, years have we well, had Well, I actually got involved in the second year. So for me, it's been 31 years. I started as a volunteer um, many, many years ago. Okay. Um, we're now going into our 32nd year. Okay. So for our viewers who don't know about it. What is the Grand Prix, Prix race? Well, we have two days of racing, um, actually July 2nd and 3rd, two full days. On the 2nd, you're going to see what we call aquacross racing, which are personal watercraft out on the Gulf of Mexico, mm -hmm. and super stock boats, which are open canopy boats with an average speed of approximately 75, 80 miles an hour. On Sunday, July 3rd, you're going to see the power boats, which are the bigger boats. Um, those can reach speeds in excess of 160 miles an hour. So it's going to be an exciting weekend. And how many boats do you have participating? We have 30 registered for Sunday. We have 80 aquacross racers that are expected to come in and another 10 boats for the super stock class. So huge event. Huge Big event. event. Um, and we're drawing racers from all around the world. So we're excited about that Great. as well. And where is the best place to view the races? Lido Beach. Okay. And you want to get out there to get your parking space early. Mm -hmm. um, we are encouraging beachgoers this year. We have had a change with the city ordinance because of the peak turtle nesting season. Um, not anything that's going to disrupt the activities, but we just ask that beachgoers don't set up until sunrise mm -hmm. and the inspections can take place. Okay, now that I know because I've gone a couple times and I've gotten there. Five o'clock in the morning, yeah. but now sunrise is about 6.30, so that's yeah. when you're recommending yes. folks start setting up. Okay. We uh, actually launched a Share the Beach campaign this year, mm -hmm. which the charity wanted to do in conjunction with Powerboat P1. They have a marine foundation that sanctions the race as well, and we're working closely with Moat Marine because we can all share the beach. It's just a matter of, you know, waiting till sunrise to put out all your stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, um... What are the other changes? I know you said there was an ordinance this year that it changed because of the turtle nesting season. Are right. there, is there anything else that, that our viewers should know? Um, uh, well, on <laughs> Friday, July 1st, we are doing what we call a Boats on Main block party. And the reason we went to this is rather than a full parade um, was mainly there's a lot of construction going on downtown right now, mm -hmm. expenses, and Friday, because now we've switched to a two-day race format, the drivers and throttle men that are in these boats um, have a full schedule on Friday, and they really want to meet the fans. So we will have boats parked down the middle of Main Street from Orange Ave all the way to Palm. They'll be signing autographs. They'll have hero cards to hand out, things for the kids. We want families to come down and start interacting more with the teams rather than just see them go by um, and get to meet them and their crews um, and it's it's a win-win not only for the teams but for the families mm -hmm. as well I know and the kids oh my gosh these boats are just gorgeous yeah and I mean they're they're larger than life especially mm -hmm. when they're out out of the water yes and to meet the uh, you know the racers themselves I mean it must just be super for the kids yes and if you can't make the block party mm -hmm. that Friday night we encourage families to come down to the Hyatt that same day from 12 to 2 we're doing a meet and greet who's in the driver's seat Kids 12 and under are free. Same kind of thing. The teams are going to have handouts and uh, autograph cards, and they'll be there for pictures, and uh, we really want people to okay. turn out for that as well. Now, do the, the children, are they allowed to get into the boats, or is this kind of a, you know, a... Uh, out of the boat kind of picture taken. Some of the teams will yeah. have step ladders yeah. where you can look down into the canopy of the boat. Some actually have trailers that will tilt. So okay. as you're standing on the street, you can see what it looks like wow. in the cockpit of these boats. Yeah. Um, Geico, cool. I'm going to use them as an example. Uh, Geico is bringing a big setup. They're going to have a big power boat, a super stock boat, a personal watercraft, 
things for the kids, activities for the kids. Um, so you can expect a lot of that this okay. year too. So the whole family, it's an event the whole family Absolutely. can enjoy. Absolutely. So it, now you said that most of it is free, but if there there's tickets available for purchase for... Yeah, we have three ticketed events. Okay. Um, we have our golf tournament, which is close to being sold out. That kicks off everything June 25th. Mm -hmm. The 26th, which is Sunday, we have a fun run at Marina Jacks for both boats, motorcycles. We have a car show in Lakewood Ranch. Tuesday, we have a kickoff party at the Yacht Club. It's $100 a ticket. You can go to Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix mm -hmm. Buy your ticket now. It's a lot of fun. It's from 6 to 10. And then we move into the next weekend where we have an event at Fleming's on Wednesday night that's free, the block party that's going to be Friday, mm -hmm. and the meet and greet, and then the racing. And then we can't forget the Bayfront fireworks because, okay. again, that's all part of our festival activities Great. on July 4th. Wonderful, wonderful. So please give us your website so we can go yes, uh, get all of this information to take in. SarasotaPowerboatGrandPrix.org. You will find on the website not only the schedule, but the times that the various classes are going to be racing. So if, Great. if you want to see a certain class of boats race, you can pick the time. We encourage people to carpool because of the traffic. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, uh, and just enjoy the weekend. Great. Well, thank you, Lucy, for being thank here. Thank you, Nancy. Hope the weather holds out for us. Stay tuned to Suncoast FYI, and we'll be right back.